The purpose of this next demonstration is to show you the process for creating and editing symbols, details, and sheet borders in the administration module of CAD Master Standards Manager software. We will finish the demonstration with an example of how the end users will instantly and seamlessly access the symbol detail and sheet border standards that we created in the administration module. So let's go ahead and get started. We're working on our standards administra administration uh, standalone application that you see here. I'll go ahead and click on the symbols tab and what I would like to do is create a group of uh, water symbols. All right. Uh, symbols are organized by discipline and group. Our current discipline is civil and I'll go ahead and click on create to create a water group. So the next step is to choose what symbols I'd like to add into the water group. So I'll click on the add symbols button and I will choose water valve, proposed water valve, a water meter, and maybe a fire hydrant. Of course I could choose all the symbols or just whatever symbols uh, I desire. And then I'll click on uh, open. So once the symbols are, uh, are, are here, we can go ahead and give them descriptions, specify layers, choose whether or not to scale them, etc. So for the fire hydrant, I will go ahead and give it a description of proposed fire hydrant. Right. Uh, as you would expect when, assi when assigning a layer to the symbol, we use the layer created previously in our standards. So if I click on the uh, layer here for the fire hydrant, I could choose civil, water, fire hydrant, civil, water, what was that, meter? Yes. You get the idea. And the last one, civil, water, valve. All right, and then we decide whether or not we want to scale the symbol based on the drawing scale, and also whether or not we would like to specify an object snap uh, for the uh, for the symbol when inserting. So for a water valve, I would like to to have a preset uh, nearest object snap. Okay. So now the next step is to create the palette images so that we can see what it is that we are inserting. I'll click on uh, create palette images. <laughs> So what's going to happen is uh, in the background, you see that I have AutoCAD open in the background. It's going to open each of those symbols and uh, kind of take a snapshot, a picture of the, the symbol uh, for us. There's the uh, water meter. There's the water valve. Good. And that process is complete, so now we can go ahead and click on uh, View Palettes. and you'll see the uh, fry hard and the water meter and the water valve here and we're done so now the symbols exist in the standards as you could see the process was very simple and very fast details are very similar to symbols I'll go ahead and click on the details tab here uh, they're organized again by discipline and group I'll choose the structural discipline and the foundation group I'll go ahead and click on view palettes here and you'll see the uh, the, the, the detail uh, palette. Uh, the process for adding details uh, to the standard is very similar to that uh, that for symbols. Uh, you'll see some additional functionality for uh, uh, details down here at the bottom left. The ability to um, not only insert the detail as a block but also to externally reference the detail either, either using the overlay or the attachment option. Okay. Uh, sheet borders is similar to symbols and details with uh, again with some additional functionality you'll notice here that we can have a primary drawing uh, but we can also have a secondary uh, drawing the primary drawing or primary border uh, may contain global information for a project like the client name or project number the secondary drawing may contain local information like sheet number for example and similar to uh, similar to um, details, we have the choice of whether we want to externally reference the uh, the the sheet border or insert it as a block. Uh, we may want to uh, externally reference the global information, but insert the uh, insert the local information. All right. 
So now that we've added the water symbols to the standards in the administration module, we can add those symbols to a drawing in the user module inside of AutoCAD. So let me go ahead and uh, minimize the standards administration application and you'll see AutoCAD uh, here already launched in the background. So basically what we're doing now is we're taking off our CAD manager hat and putting on our end user hat. So I'll go ahead and click on the uh, symbols tool from the standards manager toolbar and you'll notice that uh, you'll see our water symbols in here, the ones we just added, fire hydrant, water meter, and water valve. I would like to go ahead and insert the water valve uh, multiple times. So I'll go ahead and click the uh, insert button here. Notice how uh, nearest object snap is automatically set based on uh, that setting uh, in the uh, administration module. I don't know if you recall we set the nearest O snap for the water valve symbol. So I can very easily and quickly insert uh, water valve symbols in my drawing here. And then the last thing I'll do is go ahead and insert a uh, fire hydrant. All right, And you'll notice that the symbols are placed on the correct layer in accordance with the standard. In this case, C water valve for the water valve and seawater fire hydrant for the fire hydrant. And then that layer has the correct color and line weight as specified in the standard. All right, so that completes the demonstration of the standards manager software with respect to symbols, details, and cheap orders. Thank you.